Hi, let's study Year Five English Plus One, Unit Six, Sport, Page Sixty Four to Sixty Five. The objective is I can read for specific information, and also I can talk about past events. First, let us learn about Tokyo Twenty Twenty. It was done on twenty third July to eight August twenty twenty one. The winners from Malaysia, Aaron Cha and So Wei Yi, got the bronze prize in badminton men's doubles, and also Azizu Hasni Awang got the silver prize in men's carrying. When and where are the next Olympic Games? It will be. In Paris in 2024, and which sport in the box is not in the Olympics? The answer will be squash. Now we move on to Olympic timeline. Let us see. In 1896, the first modern Olympic Games were in Greece. There were silver medals for winners and bronze medals for second place. There weren't any gold medals. Nineteen hundred, women weren't competitors until nineteen hundred. That year, there were more competitors than spectators. Nineteen twelve, there was an eleven-hour forty-minute wrestling match between Martin Klein and Alfred Asikainen. It was the longest competition in Olympic history. Nineteen sixteen. In 1916, 1940, and 1944, there weren't any games because of war. 1920, there wasn't an Olympic flag until 1920. The flag of every country in the world has got one of the five Olympic colors in it. 1924, in the first Winter Olympics in France. The Canadian ice hockey team were champions with 122 goals. 1936, 12 year old swimmer Inger Sørensen from Denmark was the youngest medalist in Olympic history. 1960, Abeba Bekele from Ethiopia was the first African to win a gold medal after running a marathon without shoes. Nineteen eighty-eight, table tennis is one of the most popular sports in the world, but it wasn't in the Olympics until nineteen eighty-eight. Twenty twelve, Hiroshi Hokusu was a competitor in a horse riding competition at the age of seventy-one. Twenty sixteen, in Rio, golf and rugby were the first events in nearly one hundred years. Based on the timeline just now, what sports are mentioned? The answer is wrestling, ice hockey, swimming, marathon or running, table tennis, horse riding, golf, and also rugby. Now another exercise: write true or false. The first question: There were gold medals in the first Olympic Games. The answer will be false. There weren't any gold medals. Number two, there weren't any games in 1916. The answer is true, because of the war. Number three, Inga Sorensen was a swimmer from Ethiopia. Answer: false, because she is from Denmark. Abebe Bukila was a marathon runner. The answer is. Yes, true. Number five, golf and rugby were Olympic sports for the first time in 2012. The answer will be false. It is in 2016. Now let us learn how to talk about past events. For affirmative sentence, you may use there was or there were for singular and also for plural. For negative sentence, you can use there wasn't 
for singular noun and they weren't for plural noun. And at the back, you may add a, an, or many or any. For example, there an Olympic flag until 1920. An Olympic flag is singular noun. Therefore, you look at singular noun at the left side. You may use in affirmative sentence, which is there was an Olympic flag until 1920, or negative sentence there wasn't an Olympic flag until 1920. Another example will be. There, gold medals, gold medals with s at the back, meaning it is plural noun. For plural noun, affirmative sentence it will be there were gold medals, and negative sentence will be there weren't any gold medals. The first marathon. Here. Please be aware of the noun used in each sentence. For example, the first one, a war. Number two, a lot of battles. Number three, a big battle. Number four, any internet. Number five, any telephones. Number six, any good routes. Please identify. Between singular noun, plural noun, or affirmative and negative sentence, this will be the answer. Let us see. Two thousand and five hundred years ago, there was a war between Greece and Persia, and there were a lot of battles. There was a big battle in a place called Marathon, which the Greeks won. This was important news, but there wasn't any internet, and there weren't any telephones. So a man called Phidippides ran to Athens with the news of the battle. He ran about forty-one kilometers. There weren't any good roads, so it was a difficult journey. When he arrived in Athens, he died. Okay, good job, kids. You have learned a lot about Olympic. Let's watch the next video to know more about the X Games. Do you know why it's X Game? Stay tuned.